Hello, dear friends. This is your pastor, Roy Olson, coming to you from the snowy northeast of the United States. God bless you. I have a thought this morning I'd like to share with you. And the thought is, when does life begin? And scientifically and medically, there is absolutely no question that when 23 chromosomes from the father and 23 chromosomes from the mother come together in conception, a new life is formed with its own DNA, and shortly in development, a heartbeat, and the entire miracle begins again, and another human life is born. If we can protect the egg of an eagle, and the, the um, legal ramifications of destroying the egg of an eagle are serious, where are our priorities regarding human life and human gestation? Well, it, it goes back to our fundamental uh, priorities and beliefs. Atheism and um, evolutionism tells us that we are no more than an animal like a cow or a chimpanzee or a clicking dolphin. But uh, Scripture tells us that we are created in the image and the likeness of Almighty God. What a difference. And what a difference that basic viewpoint, uh, lifestyle, uh, life worldview makes in the decisions that we make. And it is unthinkable to me that a born-again Christian should ever vote for any politician, regardless of the political party, that would advocate the ending of a human life within the womb of the mother. Unthinkable. And it is a shame that somebody should vote for the color of the skin over the values and priorities regarding the human life. Unthinkable that such, such lack of understanding should be in the heart and mind of any born-again Christian. Well, that's what's on my heart and mind this morning, and uh, uh, I'm, I'm sorry if you disagree with me, but I think if you do disagree with me, check in with your Bible, and maybe you don't only disagree with me, but maybe you disagree with the one who has given you eternal life through faith in him. Ask him what he would value the, uh, over over the, the, the magnificent miracle of a human life. Just thoughts still love you, and there's still forgiveness for even such ignominious actions. God bless you. I'm your friend Roy Olson, and I'll be back. Goodbye.